Rise and shine, Olga. Steamer in the lagoon. Okay, I get up quick. Out of the hay, Bobby Eady. We're getting company. Coming up. Mimi, June. Get up. The Southern Queen is here. Oh, so sweet. It looks like a big night tonight. Mr. Dex, Christine. Captain Tracy's in for. I said, hit the deck. Captain Tracy's in for. Southern Queen. Bless her old heart. I hope she's loaded with crap shooters and roulette players. I hope she brings late newspapers. Newspapers? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know she's bringing me my captain. Your captain? How do you get that way? He's mine. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Wait till tonight and I'll show you whose captain he is. Yeah? You and who else? I think you're asking for a punch in the nose. Well, maybe you think you're big enough to give it to me. Cut it. I said cut it or I'll throw you both out. If you want to maul each other, do it when there's no bolt in port, understand? All right. We let the captain decide, and that's that. And here's the usual warning to those of you who've been thrown out of places before. You better make yourself scarce until we see who's aboard that Southern Queen. Well, I guess that makes it unanimous. Eh, Marge? Yeah. Now, Webster, take a good look. There's your perfect lady, and she appears well qualified to run a place like the Isle of Forgotten Sins. Well, why didn't you say something? All right, if you insist. But I wish you'd visit the establishment and judge for yourself first. Very well, we'll go there tonight. Now, remember, I want a lot of customers around those roulette tables tonight. You girls didn't do so well last time. So keep the wheels spinning and the ivories rolling. And remember, all rough stuff is taboo. Do you think the inspector will like my song? No, your song is out. Do you think the inspector would like my ooh, Lala? Oh, no, that's out too. What can we do to please him? He doesn't want to be pleased. He's looking for an excuse to close us up. Says who? Yeah, who says so? Our resident authority, Mr. Webster, and he was regular enough to send me a warning. So take your station and obey my orders or we're all going to be out of the job, and I don't mean perhaps. OK, okay. Marge. Diane, how are you making out, honey? Oh, I suppose it's silly of me, but I feel so self-conscious in this class. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know how it is when your modesty's taken a beating. Don't let it get you down. Just remember that giving those patrons an eyeful is only a stepping stone on your road home. And if the gong gets too tough, I'll be there beside you. I'm game, Lloyd. All right, girl. I'll be seeing you downstairs. What's that? That? <laughs> That's a bit of hocus-pocus to summon all sinners to the Isle of Forgotten Sins. <laughs> Come on, ladies, son of a seacourt. I'm fond of this gag going through fire. Shut up. You annoy me. Don't be a rat all your life. Come on, let's go on over to the Isle of Forgotten Sins and tank up. The drinks will be on me. Oh, you're talking. Just wait to hear you say that. Uh, I sort of suspected you had an ulterior Morty. Why, you moocher. OK, pal. You weren't kidding about buying the drinks. Of course not. I owe you something for rescuing me, don't I? Cut the baloney. You got the dough to pay for them. Why, sure, right there in my left hand pocket. Well, I got to see it. I'll well, take First, a you any further than I can throw a whale. Well, so long, classy old boy. Thanks for the drinks. Hey, come back here, you dirty rat! You won't be good for you when I get loose. I'll break every bone in your body. I'll tear you limb from limb. Why, what's your beeping hey, about? You said you'd buy the drinks. You, dirty rat. you won't be good for you when I get loose. 
And besides, I can't have you alone when I'm calling on Marge. Free as a crowd. Whiskey is the life of man. Whiskey, Johnny. I'll drink whiskey when I... Don't keep me in suspense. Tell me. I hate to hurt your feelings, babe. I hate it. I can take it. Is he? I 
tried to save him, babe, but he drowned before I could get to him. He must have run his boat on a submerged reef and she broke in two. Mike was a powerful swimmer. Yes, I know, but he got caught in the rigging. Did you find his body? Buried him on a note. We're looking to see. I brought you a watch for a keepsake. I gave him this. Why do you think I've been hanging around the South Seas? Not because I like the scenery. Yeah, I know. He was a great guy. I couldn't help liking him even when I was trading punches with him. Things won't be the same with him not around here. Well, I won't be around here much longer either. That's what I had to think, babe, so... so we'll let you and I get out of here. Tonight. What are you talking about? Oh, you know the way I've always felt about you. Oh, yeah? Well, I got to thinking that maybe with Mike gone, you, you might marry me. Come in. Why are you doing up here, you rat? Mike! What's safe enough to, Marge? He told me you were dead. Oh, yeah? What else? He tried to get me to go away with him tonight. Oh, he did. Just go downstairs. I got some business to take care of. each other will we be? Oh, uh, don't worry, they're tougher and stale. This is customary. The winner! <laughs> <laughs> now, folks, let's all drink to the health of Champ Clancy. And the drinks are on me. Come on, come on, everybody. Everybody, come on. <laughs> 
the guy with the banshee laugh? <laughs> Some nut who runs the copra plantation on Marana Island. What's his name? Caruthers. Caruthers. <laughs> Uh, and now, folks, I have another little treat in store for you while the drinks are being served. Yonder is a nameless young man whom I fished out of the sea. So I've called him Johnny Pacific, and he's going to entertain you, folks. Come on, Johnny, do your stuff. Come on, come on. Six months ago, if you can. Remember a steamship that disappeared from the Coral Sea? Sure. Tropic Star. Radio in Melbourne picked up her SOS. Right. She was carrying $3 million in gold. Now, don't tell me you're going to suggest we've searched the bottom of the Coral Sea. No. I'm just not sure the gold went down with the Tropic Star. So? So we look for the gold. We find it, we go 50-50. Well, talk sense, will you? If it's not in the wreck, how are we going to know where to look for it? I just saw the captain and the purse of the Tropic Star. They're downstairs now. That's the purse of something on the piano. How do you know? Did you hear that guy with the banshee laugh? Yeah, why? That's the captain of the Tropic Star. Go on. I heard him cut loose one of those fine ticklers one night in the Batavia Saloon. The purse was there along with him. Tickling the ivories just like he is now. I think you got something. Worth a gamble. Are you with me? Where's my watch? You didn't tell me anything about it. Yet. Don't be like that. I'll tell you all about it as soon as we get back. Where are you going? Just down to the key to load some stores aboard the Vulture. <laughs> You'll be careful, Mike. Sure. Your aces, darling. Come on. That girl, she took my money. I smell trouble. 
What do you think, Marge? I think we're between the devil and the deep, and that's no quotation. But what do we do? What we've always done before when things got too hot for us. But this is an island. Where can we go? Bert's belt is our safest bed. Diane! Now this man is dead. Attention, everybody. A murder has been committed. I'm placing you all under technical arrest as material witnesses. That's our cue. Come on, honey. I got you into this for hiring. You're not going to get you out. There'll be so much money for both of us, there'll be no reason for us to double cross each other. I know. We won't be able to spend all that dough if we live a hundred years. When whiskey comes to near my nose, whiskey, Johnny, whiskey, I tip her up and down she goes. Whiskey for me, Johnny. I know her name is Lies. Whiskey, Johnny, for oh, she puts whiskey in her pipe. Now, another thing. There's no sense of fighting each other anymore. No one, we gotta fight back to back. Now you're talking, Mike. Let's make an agreement that neither of us will raise his dukes against the other. There's my hand on it. Come on, come on. Well, here's to our success. Confusion to Krogan. Tell me you closed up this early. Olga closed up for us for keeps. Are you kidding? Sure. She's only murdered a guy. We're on the spot, Jack. We need your help. Why? If none of you did the killing. Now, don't be stupid. You know what will happen if we're around here for the investigation? Jail. Well, I'd like to help you, but I don't see how I can. Please. Uh, Mark and I got important plans. Well, helping them won't hurt our plans none. Besides, it'll give us a reason for stopping off in Moran Island. We can't just crash in on Krogan and tell him to fork over his gold. Krogan? Gold? What are you two pirates up to? You have to blab everything you know. Well, where's the harm? If they can help us, I'm for cutting them in. But I'm not. Mixing females in business is bad luck. I have no part of it. Well, that was my idea anyway. I didn't have to cut you in. You had to have a boat, didn't you? Uh, don't be a dumb cluck all your life. Don't call me a dumb cluck. You're a dumb cluck. Why, you swap? Now, what'd you go and do that for? I want to give them a good going over. There goes the settlement alarm bell. Now we're in for it. We gotta shove off before the law grabs us. Okay, Skipper. I'll take her over. Get me some water and a towel. Here. Cast off. Let her get off with the tide. Sammy? Well, you can rest easy, gals. We'll stand out to see. Where am I? The main must fall on me. Why don't you sock me with a belaying pin? <laughs> he didn't sock you. I did with a bottle. I'll be a horned toad. Hey, we're, we're underway. But this is piracy. I'll have you all prosecuted. Well, maybe you're right, Mike, about bringing the girls along for a front. Of course I'm right. <laughs> I'm glad I knocked some sense into your head. Now listen, if we're going to help you, you better let us in on the know. Where is this gold we're going to grab? Now, if my hunch is right, it's buried somewhere on Moran Island. Well, that's where Caruthers has his plantation. Caruthers is just a phony name for Crook. I recognize him tonight. He was the captain of the Tropic Star. The steamer that was lost at sea? Yeah. With a captain and purser who stuck to their ship. And millions in gold. Go on. It's as plain as your face. Krogan and this stude piano player have got that gold. And we're going to take it away from them. Let's see. Three million spread. Six ways. Why, it's half a million apiece. Wow. That ain't hay. Just shoot me while I'm dreaming. 
count me out, Marge. I don't want any part of it. You dealt with half a million dollars? You must be crazy. It's stealing. What do you mean, stealing? It doesn't belong to them. It doesn't belong to you, either. You're not calling me a thief, are you? <laughs> no, let her alone. She wants to stick to her principles, more power to her. Sure, more power to her, and more gold to us. That's what you think. But I'm cutting myself in for her share. Oh, God. You've got a lot of gold coming here after what you did to us. What I did to you? All I did was get you out of a dump and put you next to half a million dollars. Huh. I'd call that a favor. You do us a favor if you go drown yourself. Yeah, and if you think you're coming in for a share, you're crazy. Come on, Mike, let's put her over the side. A good idea. Huh? I wouldn't try it if I were you. I've already shot one man tonight in self-defense. You'd better play nice with me if you want to get your hands on that gold. All right, we'll cut you in for a share. We're none of your tricks, do you hear? Why, I wouldn't think of such a thing. Well, you better not if you don't want to be shocked, babe. Come on, Mike, we've got work. Oh, God. Come here. Plantation. That county looks like our little game of hide and seek is about to begin. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a lot of fun. What do you mean, hide and seek? I told you last night, two very much bad men come in that boat. They try to find our gold where we hide it. Me savvy, but we're a lot of fun. We want them to find it. You want them to find gold, lot of fun. Lot of fun is when we take it away from them. Seem glad to see us, huh? Visitors welcome around here? That depends on the reason for coming here. Your friend Carruthers seems to think we're trespassing. Put him straight, will you, Marge? Now, don't blame Mike and Jack for bringing us here. It was my idea. Things got too hot for us at Tango Ango after what happened. You guess what I mean? We had to go somewhere. This is the only place I could think of. Of course, it's putting us up for a few days until we can make other plans. Is asking too much? Well, we'll just go someplace else. You have what? Let's take a joke, Marge. Why, as a matter of fact, when we saw you coming ashore, we started in right then, arranging a little party of welcome for tonight. Sure. Come right in, folks, and hang your hat. <laughs> sure. Step in.
don't spoil everything. Just when I was going great guns in the water. You ain't got no time for nonsense. Now's our chance to frisk the house. Nope. You never think there was a cave in here, but there is. And it's easy to get into. All you have to do is dive down deep and then swim ahead till you count ten and then come up and you're in the cave. What be? place to hide any gold in here. Don't look that way, but you never can tell. Nothing here but old shoes. Look for a trap door on the floor on the wall. Okay. Hey, Jack, come here. Did you find it? No, come here. Ah, oh, what's that? I thought you found the gold. Well, the foods were getting warm. You took the trouble to save this, you sure got the gold. Well, cry it out now, that's what we're here for, ain't it? Now he's looking at pictures. Yeah. Maybe you better take a good look at this one. Because it means that I think Krogan scuttled a tropic storm right here in this archipelago. So what? All I want to know is where's the gold? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Under this, he ain't got it yet. Oh, no, it's still in the Tropic Star, 14 fathoms under. Well, I'll be a horn toad. Hey, what a slick hiding this. Yeah. He thinks he can take his own sweet time about salvaging it. Got another thing coming, huh? and see the cave. I've seen a cave. So have I. All right. Oh, you lit the grand sight, Mike. Well, I guess I'm getting old. I don't seem to enjoy the things I used to. But I'll sure be sorry to leave you tomorrow. Are you and Jack shoving off? Yeah, we got to. What's the big idea? You only arrived this morning. I know. We only came in the first place to help the girls out. Besides, we've got a job to do. Yeah, we've got to get busy on it before somebody beats us to it. Oh, well, if that's the case, I can't blame you. Business before pleasure. Come on, guys, let's go. All right. Find the gold? No, but we know where it is. Where? I'll tell you all about it later. Okay. Marge. Marge. Don't be scared, honey. It's Mike. Listen close. I'll give you the lowdown. Where's Johnny and Krogan? To bed, and are they stiff? Now listen. It didn't take them long to smell out the bait, did it? No. It must be awful dumb to fall for anything as phony as a treasure map. It 
Mattress the logbook did the trick. Nothing phony about that. No. We're caught with it. It's a one-way ticket to the gallows. Ah, don't worry. Neither Burke or Clancy will ever tell anybody. Sorry, Burke and I have to shove off the sumo. When you got a job waiting, you know, you better grab it before somebody else beats you to it. Oh, sure, I understand. I wish you all the luck in the world. Why, thanks. And don't worry about the girls, sir. We'll look after them until you get back. That'll be swell. By that time, we'll have it fixed so we can take them off your hands. Well, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Jack and I got to work fast because it's monsoon time. We're like when there's some bad weather. What's eating you, darling? What's you so down hearted about? Oh, I've got one of my funny hunches, but no good's going to come out of this treasure hunt. Excuse me, Mike, because my hunches usually come true. Ah, uh, the Irish in you. You're always brooding. You ought to be thinking about that bungalow in Vera. It isn't such a far off dream now, you know. Uh, you don't think I ever stopped thinking about that, do you? You be careful, Mike. I mean, when you're on the bottle. Sure. I didn't get a master diver's rating for being careless. Don't trust Jack too far. Are you telling me? Well, now hold it till I get me Kodak. Well, we're ready to shovel off as soon as you two lovebirds get through saying goodbye. We'll be ready in a minute, nuisance. Goodbye, Marge. Goodbye, Diane. Bye. You know, Mike, the one that sort of grows on you, the more you think about it. Well, you better stop thinking or Krogan's fist will grow on you, right on your kisser. I don't think it'll take him to bring up the gold. Well, that special map I fixed up for him, barring bad weather, I figured a couple of expert divers like Burke and Clancy ought to do the job in half a dozen trips. Well, for that good, we'd better post a watch on the lagoon pretty quick. I'm way ahead of you, Johnny. Five of my best boys will be on the job at dawn. Now, I have a girl, her name is Lies, Whiskey Johnny, for she puts whiskey in her pies. Whiskey for me, Johnny. Hey, what you trying to do? Just testing the pump? Hey, them new valves I installed are sure going to give you plenty of oxygen. When you're on the bottom? When who's on the bottom? When you are. Oh, yeah? How do you get that way? Well, you're all the time bragging you're a better diver than me. Well, you're the best diver in the South Sea. Sure. I could get me on the bottom and cut my airline, wouldn't you? Why, you dirty murdering swine. That's what you're figuring to do to me. When you give yourself away, didn't you? I'm... We're both full of those water. Why, this is a two-man job, no matter how you take it. Sure. We've got to take turns diving or we'll never get the gold. Now you're talking, partner. Oh, I'd love to see Krogan's face when he finds the gold's gone. <laughs> yeah, you, you never know who took it. <laughs> what a swell spot to scuttle a ship. A reef protected lagoon, 500 miles off the regular steamer lake. <laughs> No wonder the tropic star disappeared at sea. Yeah, and there doesn't seem to be a soul living on this side of the island. Well, Jack, I hope you haven't let your insurance run out. Now, look, no monkey business when I'm on the bottom, see? Oh, you shouldn't put such ideas in my head. Well, no tricks, understand? Put his hat on.
Start the air. Let me hear your voice, darling. You hear me? Okay. Ready to go overside? Okay, lower away. All right, lower away. Guard for Mrs. Jones. somewhere in this lagoon. Oh, yeah? Take a look at the map. Maybe we figured wrong. Okay. Have yourself a smoke while I check the map. Ah. It can't be far off. Take a stroll. Okay. In this direction, I just struck a long reef. Must be another one inside the main barrier. Nothing shows above the surface. I think I know the answer. Well, it's about time. I can't do all the thinking around here. I found it. Good boy. What'd she look like? I'll come up and tell you. Oh, dogging, eh? Can't stand a little pressure anymore, eh? Go on, I'll dive deeper and stay under longer than any day in the week than you. Okay. You do the diving, we'll save the strain on my arteries. Oh, lobster bait. Down 
bear and a polar bear's tail. You dumb lug. Don't you know polar bears ain't got tails? Well, I mean if they had tails. Okay, pal. Let's hear your alibi for coming up so soon. Alibi? I come up because you got work on the starboard side without following the lines. So we dive off the port side. I could have made the switch with you on the bottom. That's all you know. It so happens the wreck is lying stern to stern with us, and it's her bow we want to explode. Okay, pal, you win. We're we'll knock off work till tomorrow anyway. Knock off work? What do you mean? Well, the barometer's been dropping steadily all the time you were down. It's like we're in for a blow. Let her blow, sweetheart. It's your turn to go downstairs. I will not be quiet. Do you think I am blind? I saw you holding her hand. There's nothing in there to get you all upset. No. No. I was only admiring a ring. A ring? You are a liar to me. I will not stop for it, Savio. I will scratch her eyes out. Don't you talk to me like that, you little fool. Hey, hey. What's going on here? Can't you two get along without quarreling? Yes, sir. I'm afraid it was all my fault. I lost my temper. I apologize, Luana. Ah, that's much better. Much better. Everything under control? Yes, sir. Let's keep it that way. Nadine, come on. Hi, gals. How about a little drink? Oh, oh you're right. well. Excuse me. Wanda, my new kid. And I heard Taho Tabaha and I told Johnny. Tabaha and I told Oh, okay, okay. Come on, Johnny, we've got to get busy. All right. What do you suppose is up? I'm too scared to guess. You mean... Shh. What did you mean, Marge? I don't know what I meant. There's something awfully fishy going on around here. Yeah, there's something in the air that makes you feel that something's going to happen. If something doesn't happen pretty soon, I'm going to blow up. meaning of the drums. You got me, sister. It's probably just some tribal rite. Let's get Krogan and Johnny to take us down to the village. Oh, no, not me. Nobody's going to make a fricassee out of little Christine. Krogan, just a minute. Would you mind telling us what's going on around here? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, of course. See, my number five boy just had a very bad scare. He was... Why, hello, Chief. How are you? Greetings, Chief. Welcome to my plantation. Come in. Well, what can I do for you, Chief? Nothing can do. Oh, well, what you come here for? Talky talk. Much bad magic now in sky and sea. Wizard doctor say, big wind come and big wave. Soon no more home. Always. Well, there's always bad magic in the sea and sky when the monsoon comes. But a white man not afraid of big wind or big wave. No afraid me. But man no can stop wind from blow, wave from walk. One time big wind walk big wave over much home, much mother, much father, much child. No more try. Yeah, that's right. But then that was many, many moons ago, way back in the ancient time. Big wave ready to walk so more. Wizard doctor say, go, quick, take child, so new seed grow on safe ground. Look. Go, friend, before months. Well, thank you, Chief, for your warning. Good luck to you. I know as I was saying before, when old Noah stepped in with his voodoo pipe dream, my number five boy had a very bad scare today. He sighted a couple of tigers. Tigers? I didn't know there were tigers in this telegram. 
Oh, yes, yes. They say all these islands at one time were a part of Asia. I see. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, we'll be back tomorrow, maybe tonight. Uh, enjoy yourself. Landed smack on top side of her. How's it going? Board or at? Now give me plenty of line. I'm going to take a stroll. Don't let the breeze blow your hat off. The agitation of the water will be due to my hearty laughter. Send your overcoat down, softy. Hold everything. I'm gonna look at his quarters. You better do something to earn your wages. strips of brass and it's got the purser's name on it. J.J. Baxter.
of that chest up here. It's going to rain any minute. Well, I'll speak to the union about it. All right, darling. Everything is ready now. Well, I handle that with care. The going is going to be tricky. Okay, partner. It's 12 feet to the cabin door. You can take out that much light. Check. the chest up over the purser's counter. Okay, sweetheart. Twenty feet to the companionway, and then thirty feet are tough going till you get topside. I got it. I'll baby her up the last thirty feet. Don't keep me in suspense. Answer me, Clancy. What's the matter, partner? Anything wrong? I'm all doubled up with cramps. Better bring me up. Stay with it, pal. We'll have you up in the gym. Why didn't he wait to have them till after they brought the gold up? Oh, forget it. We're partners. 
us, are we? Sure. Don't you think we'd better get up the gold? I left it hanging clear of the deck. Why, you dirty son of a sea cook. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just Shannon. You gotta protect yourself from the clinches, you know. Well, you didn't trust me. And the gold up here and me on the bottom? <laughs> I didn't want to tempt you. Yeah, man that witch. Is that as tight for sore eyes? Yeah. Something different about the feel of gold. Yeah. Makes you feel the way you do when you've had a swell feed. Shall we, uh, divvy it up now? Sure. Take off the cruise share and we'll haggle over the rest. Haggle is right. There you. Take this and divide it up amongst you. Now scram. Now. There's one for you. Me. What do you mean, two for you? I'm claiming a bigger share than you. Well, how do you get that way? I'll tell you how I get that way. I furnish the boat, the crew, and the diving gear. You furnish nothing. No? Who furnished the idea? Why, you didn't know there was any gold when I told you about it. Ah, uh, go on. Just knowing about it don't count as much as having the means to get it. Why, you're full of bills, Water. You're full of bills? You may think I'm taking less than 60%. Well, if you're taking 60%, you're going to take 40 out of my hide, because I'm taking 60% myself. Well, then I'll take it out of your hide. Get yourself in that back room here. Now, wait a minute, Kogan. Let's talk this over. Uh, there's nothing to talk over. You guys tried to steal our gold. You're not going to get away with it. We ought to be entitled to something for salvaging it for you, oughtn't we? Oh, of course. You're entitled to something. Sure. Johnny here is going to write you a nice little letter of thanks. <laughs> Come on, get this back room like I told you. And shut the door behind you. Get that trunk in the boat, boys. Well, what are we going to do now? We are a chance to take the gold away from them. That's all we can do. Hey, what are you trying to do there? <laughs> 
I'm building a nice coffin for you guys. I don't like the way you said that. So long, boys. Hope you enjoy your nice dive to Davy Jones's locker. Hey, what do you mean, Davy Jones' locker? You'll find out when little things go boom. They're gonna blow us up. We gotta get out of here. Wait a minute. Well, it won't be long now. Come on, let's get away from here. Me the truth, Luella. Why you don't have brother? Why should I know where they are? I was in cave when you meet him there. I hear him tell you where he was going. Are you, does he double cross her? What do you mean, double cross her? You saw the Dr. Krogan and Johnny. No, I didn't. You don't lie very well. Your face shows it. That's for Clancy and that's for Burke. Get that table out of here. Put it in this back room. Okay with that. Move this over here. Middle of their own there. Okay, that's all for tonight, boys. And don't forget, we're all going to have a nice long boat trip after this storm ends. Who's the tire of Savanka? Any of you gals ever see what $3 million looks like? I didn't think you did. 
Don't let show you. There, take a look. Isn't that beautiful? Three million dollars in gold. Think of all the luxuries that'll buy. What's the matter, Marge? Aren't you interested in gold? No. Oh, that's funny. I was under the impression that you were. Didn't you cut yourself in for a slice of this? Where's Mike? What have you done to him? I've got to know. What do you think we do to guys that try to steal our gold? You want to see them, you've got to get yourself a diving suit. Because they're down at the bottom of the lagoon, along with the Tropic Star. Well, what's the matter with the rest of you gals? Why aren't you crying, too? Didn't you all come over here to get a slice of this dough? Didn't you? Yes, that's right. It was worth a gamble. You gambled on the wrong team, so you get nothing. But I was playing on your team. Didn't I warn you against Clancy and Burke? You didn't tell us a thing we didn't know. Why, of course, it was us tipped Burke off to the gold in the first place. You did? Sure. We needed a couple of deep sea divers to bring the gold up for us. And we figured Burke and Clancy had enough larceny in their hearts not to put their finger on it. And we figured right. You wouldn't refuse me a little share of the gold. Tell me. I'll pay your fare to the mainland if you keep out of my sight. That's more than you deserve. Oh, yeah? Start dishing out my share of those sacks. Go on and shoot. You think I wouldn't? <laughs> you see, I remembered your bad habit about shooting people. So I had to want to take all the cartridges out of your gun. You're all a lot of dirty, double-crossing rats, all of you. Except Diane. She's the only decent one among you. And that goes for you and Luana, too, Tommy. Oh, don't think you were fooling me for a minute. I knew you were double-crossing me and planning to get the gold for yourselves. As long as having a showdown, I might as well make it a good one. I never intended to give you a share of the gold anyhow. And why should I? I did all the planning, all the dirty work, took all the risk. You didn't even know the gold was aboard till I told you. All right, so what? Knowing about it wasn't doing a weak sister like you any good. You didn't have energy enough to steal it. And anyhow, you're too dangerous to let them. Both of you. Quite right, Kroger. That goes for us, too. Shooting, boys. Well, now that's what I call being proud. Mike! Look out, he's got a gun. Stop, and I shoot. Dudley, reload, Calamity. Take it easy, babe. You can't give me any gold, but I can. Mars, we're rich. And bunking on the rear is a cinch now.
have to put the bite on you for about fifty, darling. Now, don't be like that. I'll tell you all about it as soon as my plans are a little further along. You haven't forgotten about that bungalow on the Riviera, have you? Your aces, darling. See you later.